My name is Duncan Burnett. I am 28 years old and I'm a rapper. Yes, I have a profession that most kids dream of. Uh, I was born and raised in the grimy and gangster streets of, you guessed it, Olathe, Kansas. <laughs> the mecca for young, talented minds trying to break into the rap game. I've been on the rap scene now for about two to three years, give or take a few months, and while it's been a great experience, it's definitely been interesting, to say the least. Uh, for the last two to three years, I've worked to build a movement by the name of Riot. And I know what you're thinking, and no, it's not that type of riot. I ain't blowing up buildings. I'm not starting fires, flipping over cars, looting. Unless it was a shoe store, I might get some free shoes one time, but that's not what I wanted to do. All I wanted to do was make a movement that could inspire and motivate kids with positive information that I thought was dope, that I thought was fresh, that adults could dig to, and uh, something that wouldn't be labeled as corny. Hence, Riot was born. My definition of Riot stands for realize it's our time. The dictionary definition of Riot says it's a disturbance of the peace by three or four more persons assembled together acting under a common intent or goal. I believe that this definition and my definition combined to perfectly embody what a riot is also referred to as, which is, which is an occasion of boisterous merriment. I passionately believe that when people realize it's their time, they truly can become unstoppable. What does the world look like with everyone following their passions, knowing their purpose, and inspiring others to do the same? I currently don't know, but I am willing to find out. So today, this 28-year-old drummer, skater, turned rapper producer will properly teach you how to write in hopes that you would teach others. And she said, I love words that start with the letter P. Just to name a few, you got passion, peace, positivity, power, patience, progression, purpose. Uh, my favorite among these is passion and purpose, which brings me to the first step in learning how to realize it's your time, and that is Realizing your passions, parentheses, P word, ultimately to find your purpose. Passion, a strong and barely controllable emotion. Purpose, simply the reason why something exists. I believe that everybody in this room is passionate about something and wants to find their purpose in life. Raise your hand if you agree. If you didn't raise your hand, get your life together. <laughs> If you're one of the few people who are living in your purpose right now, great, keep going. It's rare, teach somebody else how to do it. If you are like most of us and you're still learning, you're still growing, you're still working to find your purpose, good news, it's still very possible. You can start right now. Another good P word. Um, it's still very possible, you can start right now. I believe that knowing and operating in your passions will ultimately lead you to finding your purpose. You hear this a lot. You hear this question asked a lot. What is the one thing that you would do for free? The thing that you would do that nobody would have to pay you for? I asked myself this question, and I began to discover my passions. Yes, plural, Ooh, another good keyword, because don't limit yourself. You can have more than one. For me, growing up, I've always loved music. I played drums since I was two years old. Um, so I could rap now, play beats, listen to songs, and sit in my room and work on music all day, every day. However, since then, I've discovered that I have many more passions. And that's okay. Like learning, I love learning, teaching, um, skating, um, yo-yoing. I'm a professional yo-yoer, Duncan yo-yo, shut up. <laughs> and you guessed it, rapping. Uh, I discovered rapping back in high school with uh, my friends, Jory and Jose. We would probably be in the whip, bumping a little flip, and I'd be like, yo, it'd be my turn, and I'd be like, yo. <laughs> I'm in the back of the whip, taking over like a little flip, looking extra fresh with big nose and lips. Somebody called the doctor, Duck and Bean, so sick, flaming hot on you suckers like Cheetos chips. Woo! I knew after that, I was like, yo. <laughs> I'm about to blow, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can clap for that. That's a great line. That's a wonderful line. I was like, man. I'm kidding. I didn't, get, I didn't blow. I didn't become famous. None of that happened. But you know what I mean. So make a list. Find your passions. Make a list. 
Write them down. This is the artist tip, because you'll forget. You'll forget. Make a list. Write things down. Some people in life know exactly what they want to do. Some people have no idea. Others have so many ideas that they just get overwhelmed and never actually get anything done. I say, try everything. Eventually, you'll find the one, two, or three things that you would do, or do for free that nobody would have to pay you for. Uh, play to your strengths and be thankful, as people have said before, that YouTube and Google exist because you can figure out how to do anything online. No excuses. Be about that action. Overcome your fears. Step two, step one in learning how to write complete. Can I be honest with you guys real quick? I was real iffy about becoming a rapper. Like, I'm 28, which is kind of old in the rap game. I'm a guy, and I'm a black dude. And you can laugh at that, because that's funny. Because a lot of black people rap nowadays, you know? Like, man, like, you couldn't have picked something else, you know? Like, <laughs> But you know what? I realized it was one of my passions, and that I had words that people needed to hear. And you know what? That trumps fear any day. So the second step in learning how to realize it's your time is face your fears. Facing your fears is one of the easiest and most difficult things you have to do for the rest of your life. Isn't it amazing how you and I can think of a hundred to a thousand of reasons why you can't do something when most of the time the simple answer is like Nike, just do it. <laughs> Rapper, I got bars, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, it won't be easy, but in the long run, it'll pay off. You gotta play the long game. And I promise you that the hard work part will never leave. You either deal with the hard work now, or you deal with it later. For me, I was a drummer. I played drums my whole life. I toured as a drummer. I have the cymbal endorsements as a drummer, sponsorship as a drummer. I've opened up and played drums for everybody from B.J. Thomas to Drew Hill. And that was wonderful. But now, I want to be a rapper, standing in front of kids and positively, positively impact like some of the most meanest generation I've ever experienced as a rapper, you know, like, man, now there's no drums in front of me, there's nothing I can just look down and stare at, it's just me and you, like, even now, I just got this kid right here looking at me, fans, like, oh, what's up, man? <laughs> Another thing about rapping, I hate my voice, you hear my voice, I kind of sound girly, you know, I'm from Olathe, I'm from Johnson County, I'm from the Burbs, you know, I talk real proper, that's not gangster, I need to be a rapper with a high-pitched voice, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But here I am. And then this TED Talk. Last year at our turn, I had the pleasure of uh, performing. And I had just got good at rapping, really. Like, oh, they invited me back here today. I was like, yeah, I'll rap. And she's like, how about you do a talk? <laughs> I mean, what I'm going to say, I just got good at rapping, you know? But I'm here. And I made it. Even this week, there was a few times like, man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to remember all this stuff. Like, I just know what I do. It's a long time. People are just gonna be looking at me with lights on and stuff like, man. But I overcame those fears. So if I can do it, you can do it. Uh, uh, I say this a lot. Believe in yourself plus vibes on. That's my phrase. Plus vibes on. Remember that. Believe in yourself plus vibes on. I learned this quote. This is what I live by lately. It says this. In life, there are no losses, only lessons. You win or you learn. You have to learn to be positive in all aspects of your life. You have to learn to push past doubts, fears, and people are trying to encourage you not to do what it is that you love, AKA haters. How many people got haters? Raise your hand. If you don't have haters, that means you're not doing something right. Because when people are hating on you, that means you're doing something worth hating on. Uh, I heard this quote, this in fact I should say, it says that your brain only gives you five seconds to do something before it processes the fears attached to that something. That's not a lot of time. So make it happen, overcome those fears, be about that action. Step two in realizing it's your time, complete. So, ooh, excuse me. The funniest thing about time, though, is that time waits for no one. In fact, even when you choose not to move, Time keeps going on. So the third step in learning how to write might be the most important, and that is 
Make the most of your time. More specifically, make the most of every opportunity that you have been given. A lot of us just wait. We have ideas, but we wait and wait and wait for that right time to do what we thought of. But then, you know what happens? Is you see somebody else online or something, and you're like, man, I just thought of that. And now they out here killing. They out here just doing exactly what your idea is, making happy. you like, man, if I would have just did it. And the only difference between them and you is that they decided to act on their feelings. Me, two years ago, two to three years ago, I was a cable guy, climbing up poles and ladders and stuff. It was real scary. It was a lot of work. And I, I always knew pursuing music full time was my thing. I always knew I was supposed to do this, but I was waiting for the right time, you know? Everyone waits for the right time. Like, oh, all the stars are going to line. Everything is going to happen, and it's going to be like, this is it, Duncan. Quit your job and become a rapper, you know? Yes. But that never happened. It never came. It turns out I wasn't a good cable guy. Um, I ended up wrecking my van, you know? I, I stepped through a couple roofs in a real home. So if you really think about what that is, like, you know, I stepped a hole in somebody's roof and was just like, uh... Hey, you know? <laughs> so <laughs> you can imagine, I took some long lunches too. I was hungry. I got lost a few times. You know, GPS wasn't working. My phone died. What did you expect me to do? But you can imagine after that, a person like that, you would probably fire them. So they fired me. <laughs> so, um, so the first few days, I was scared, y'all. I was like, man, what am I going to do? What am I gonna do? What am I, oh my God, I'm not gonna make it, I don't have no money, no job, I'm scared. Uh. But you know what? I said, I know what my passion is. I'm gonna face my fears and I'm gonna make the most out of the opportunity. So what I did is I called every musician and artist in my phone and I booked a gig that week. And for a year now, I've been a full-time musician, no cable guy, making money, doing what it is that I love. What could I have done had I made this decision two years earlier? How much more time could I have got back had I got back those 40 hours a week? But I've learned that you can't change the past and you can't dictate the future, but what me and you can do right now is change what we're doing right now. I would like to say I learned this lesson for the both of us. The perfect time will never, ever, ever, ever come. Never. Choose to move right now. Choose to make your opportunities happen right now. You do that and you're halfway there. Step three, and learning how to write complete. My fourth and final point is this. Um, I'm always on Facebook, Instagram, Google, YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, watching documentaries, all that, just trying to get inspired. Because I've learned, in order to inspire people, you have to first inspire yourself. So the last step in learning how to realize it's your time is aspire to inspire. I'll finish by telling this story. I had, a, I had the pleasure of being a camp counselor at an inner city program this summer for the, the bad class, you could say, of 11 to 12 year olds. Um, mind you, I had no experience being a counselor with kids. I'm just a, a guy trying to you know, do something positive in the community. And so the first day I meet 27 kids that I've never met before, no experience, we go on a field trip, right? I'm like, whoa, 27 kids on a field trip bus. They say, Mr. Duncan, that's what they call me. Mr. Duncan, what is it that you do? And here's that question again. I rap. Right. I'm a rapper. They're like, if you rap, Mr. Duncan, why don't you rap for us? And I was like, man, I got to gain these kids trust if I'm going to be here. Like, they mad, they say. So I did this. <laughs> And so they ask, why are you doing this? You so new with this. You pretty nice on them drums, but this rap is foolishness. They say, why are you pursuing this? Tell them this is what I got to do. When God speaks, man, you got to move. And he made me unstoppable, the impossible possible. I'm Jordan in the final seconds. Watch me follow through as I step up on this soapbox and deliver y'all. This message is passion, peace, positivity, power, patience, and progression. Whoa, it's time to wake up. Quit being quiet. Speak your mind, kids. Quit being silent. You need some help. Join my movement. It's a smooth academic title. Riot. Dr. Tyler Burnett, that is my name. I'm an ordinary guy doing extraordinary things. I got a lot to say, a lot to prove. We need a lot of change. Ain't no time to lose. That's why I'm up here, y'all, doing what it is that I do, rapping for you, 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 and you. And after that, they were like, oh, Mr. Duggan is lit. They, they love me. So I learned that actually these kids weren't bad at all. They just needed somebody they believed in, somebody they trusted, 
somebody who was there for them. And they solidified my dream of like, man, I know what I want to do. I want to impact kids with my music. And then three weeks later, I got the call to do a TEDx Youth. Crazy how life works. You don't remember anything from Dunder Burnett? Remember to be yourself. It's the most unique thing and special thing about you. Three years ago, I was a drumming cable guy. Now, I've had the pleasure to open for it. If you know any of these names, make some noise. I've had the, three years ago, drumming cable guy, rapper. I had the pleasure to open for Vince Staples. <laughs> Rory. Yeah. The internet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for my old school fans, George Clinton and Parliament Funkadelic. <laughs> Twice. That was two times. Oh. And this is where it really gets good. How many people know who Gucci Mane is? <laughs> How many people know who Ray Shrimmer is? <laughs> How many people know who Little Uzi Bird is? Woo! Playboy Cardi, Super Duper Kyle, the list goes on. My name is Duncan Burnett. I'm a rapper from Olathe, Kansas. I hope that you realize it's your time, because I realized it was mine, then together we can realize it's our time. Follow me on Instagram at the name is Duncan, because I'm a rapper. I need your help. Get it! <laughs>